Once we've created plenty of dummy content to play around with, we need to come up with a way to organize our content into a more user-friendly fashion so that it's more easily browsable on the site. To do this, we're going to use one of the most important components of Drupal, which is views. Click on structure and scroll all the way down and go to views. Views is a core module as of Drupal 8 and views allows you to create customized lists of content that are filterable in just about any way you can imagine. And it presents lists of that content to your visitors. So for instance, let's create a view that lists all of our articles. We click add new view. This is all of our articles as opposed to articles and reviews. We'll just call this articles. For our view settings, we'll show content of type article. We will create a page. The path is the part of the URL that appears after your domain. So it'll be ourdomain.com slash articles. Page title articles is good. We'll just show teasers for this view. And we'll say we want to show 15 items per page. We will use a pager so that if we have more than 15 articles on the site, the visitor can page over to view other articles. Let's save and edit. Notice our filter criteria. This is the way you're telling views to select content to display on this page or in this view. We want to display content that is published and that is of type article. We're sorting it in descending order of when it was authored. In other words, most recent content first. If we scroll down, we can see a preview. This is what the view page is going to look like. Very similar to our home page in this case. Let's add this to a menu. Click on no menu over here. We'll create a normal menu entry. We'll call this articles. Scroll down here and let's give this a weight of five. That'll put it between our home page and about menu items. Click apply. Don't forget to save. And then we can go straight to this page and view it. And now we have a page of all of just our articles, most recent first. Let's go and create a little bit more in-depth view now. Go back to structure, scroll down to views. We're going to add one more view for reviews. We're going to show content of type review. We're going to create a page. All of this is fine. This display format is going to be a table. We're doing this one as a table so that our visitors will be able to browse reviews by guitar brand or guitar rating, etc. We'll see how in just a minute. Let's say that we're going to want to show 20 items per page. We will use a pager so they don't only get 20 items. We'll create a menu link. This is the same thing as we did with articles. We're just doing it here instead. We're going to put this in the main navigation. Link text will be reviews. And click save and edit. Here we have menu normal reviews. If we click on this, we can go ahead and give this a weight too. Let's give this a weight of seven. So it'll appear after the articles view. Click apply. Now this one's going to be a bit different. First of all, if we look at the table, we see that just the format of the way things are listed is different. Here, we specify what fields we want to show up in this table. It doesn't just pick a display type for us. We need to tell it specifically what fields of each of these pieces of content we want to be in the table. So let's play around with this. Let's click Add. And for now, let's just do Brand. We can search for these. And we'll do Type. We'll do this one right here, appears in review. This is the type of the guitar, electric, acoustic, whatever. And we'll do rating. Once you've selected those, click apply. And right now, we're giving it the details for the brand field. 
We're going to leave the label on here and everything so that it does have a label at the top of the table so we know when it shows us the brands that these are brands we're looking at. Let's go ahead and say we do want to link these to content so people can click on it and go to the actual review. Apply that. Now we're working with the rating. It might be a little bit awkward to uh, actually link this to the piece of content, so we're not going to do that. Uh, in fact, we don't even have an option for that right here. We could make it happen, though, if we wanted to. Uh, for rating, though, we're just going to leave everything as is. Apply that. And finally, type, the type of guitar. Let's go ahead. We can link this to content as well. Apply that. And since the users who are going to be browsing purely based on what brand or type or rating the guitar received, we don't necessarily need the title in this view. Usually, in most views, you do need the title of the content. This is a rare case where you don't. So let's click on title here and remove. Let's go ahead and save just to make sure we don't lose anything. Now we have this table and we can play around with it a little bit by going to settings. Again, under format is where we tell it how we want this to be, whether we want it to be just some list or an HTML list or whatever. We chose table. And for our settings, we want to make this sortable. In other words, we want visitors to be able to sort the table any way they want. We'll keep the default sort order none, so it sticks to our authored by criteria that's sort of set by default. And when someone clicks on the brand, that means it's going to list in alphabetical order. We want ascending here. For type, we also basically want it alphabetical order, so that'll be ascending. For rating, when someone clicks on this column, we assume that they want to see the highest rated guitars first. So we'll do descending. It starts high, rather, and then descends down to lower reviews. So once we've made these sortable and change this to descending, let's apply this and go ahead and save. And now that it's sortable, let's go ahead and just view the page. Since this table, rather, is sortable by our visitors, notice that the table does go off to the edge over here. That's just because uh, Devel gave us some abnormally long individual words. Uh, this is usually doesn't happen because normally there's a space in the word, in which case it'll just go down and make the row a little bit larger. But now that these columns are sortable by the visitor, they can click on any one. If we click on brand, then it lists everything in alphabetical order by brand. If we click on rating, remember we did that in descending order, it'll start with the highest rated guitars, go down low. Type works the same way. And if we click on the brand here, it'll take us to the review of that guitar. Notice we also have our articles and reviews tabs up here just as we wanted them. One final thing, if we go back and let's just go back to structure very quickly and views, scroll down to reviews, click edit. We can also change the order that these fields appear in the table. By clicking in the fields section, this arrow, rearrange, and let's put the rating field last, or let's put the rating field first, how about that? Apply that, save, view the page, and now we've created a system that is a little bit more friendly to visitors. So if they're looking for reviews of a particular type of a guitar or a particular brand or just all of the best guitars that we've reviewed, they can find that much easier than scrolling through a chronological list of reviews interspersed with articles.